always pray for them. Yeah. They're, they're not... I'm gonna pray again because they're not getting younger. Hi guys! Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our channel. channel. So this time, um, it's only the two of us because our son is busy yeah. <laughs> on the other side. But tomorrow, because it's Mother's Day, uh, we thought of uh, uh, discussing um, about um, a, like a little different. Yes. We'll not be talking about wife, about our mothers, mothers, but it will be the mother-in-laws. So, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um. So this time we are going to talk about the different types of mother-in-law. Jaron, okay, so I know most of you <laughs> can relate, relate to this, can yes. relate to this or... especially the married couple. Right, so maybe we'll start with the first one. So well, what's the jealous mother-in-law? Oh, well, uh, the jealous mother-in-laws, um, you know, those mother-in-laws who think that, um, you know, their beloved son was stolen by their uh, daughter-in-law. <gasps> They think that they lost a son and never gained a daughter. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, my, my question actually is like how to deal with this um, kind of mother-in-law. Well, I guess uh, at first I think um, mothers-in-law, uh, they would really feel or they, they they feel that they should be still part of their son's um, life or heart. Oh. And that's because they're the mother. And sometimes if um, we tend to like neglect them, then that's the time that they will feel jealous. Like we don't include them in our celebrations, mm -hmm. in the events or the, this, the special events of our family's life that happens so um i guess in order to f make them feel secure and not jealous we should always invite them to um birthdays to new years or christmases or maybe we have to visit, yeah, um, go visit yeah, them, visit them if they if they don't live with us or if they live in another place or maybe from time to time also we should um talk to them uh check how they, how they are so if they've been jealous in the fr in the first years of your marriage and until now so maybe take it one step at a time oh. is there a mom this jealous to their son-in-law <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> Well, I have not heard, but... Um, Maybe a, a dad who's jealous. <laughs> yeah, you said a dad, <laughs> I but, don't know. Yeah, with a mom, well, I don't know. But uh, I think it's the same thing. Uh, we just have to involve from time to time in our lives, yeah. especially in locations. And let them not feel that they are, uh, you know, isolated. An outcast, yeah, yeah. or outcast. Yeah, this is uh, just our opinion. <laughs> yeah, and if you have uh, something to add more, please comment down below. So the next uh, type that I know is... Um... So what are those mother-in-law? What are those types? Like, um, this type of mother-in-law, they compete with the daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. uh, or say, if I'm the daughter, so my mother-in-law would compete with me when it comes to like... Oh, I'm a better cook than you. Oh, I'm a better something. I'm a, I'm better than you when it comes to this and when it comes to that. Right. So, it's like um, in cleaning the house, <laughs> in making breakfast, mm -hmm. in washing the dishes, in, in everything. In decisions. Yeah, and in decisions as well. Wow, and how you, how can we deal with this type of um, mother-in-law? Um, also very difficult because it also depends on so on how strong the personality of both individuals but I suggest that if you're the daughter-in-law always um, make your mother-in-law feel that you have high respect for her even oh. if you would say I'm better in cooking than you you're not a good cook for me I although it would hurt 
on the inside, if I were that person, no! Would hurt because it's true or not? <laughs> Ma, Nana didn't say that to me. So. <laughs> okay. But if, if my mother-in-law would say, say, Oh, this is not the right way to cook. I'm a better cook than this. I would tell, oh, sorry, ma. Can you, can you teach me? So that if you're not here, um, I can cook the way that you do. And ma, uh, my and hubby would say, oh, this, this is so much like mom's. Oh, di ba? You can after your mom-in-law. Yes. And also, um, accept the fact that she's, a, she's better than you. You, you know. Mom in laws been uh, done here, done th uh, been there, done that. Especially if maybe uh, there's more, more, it's more challenging maybe if you're living with your mother in law. Yes. Right? So it's just competitive, and no, you ha don't have to cook it. I'm better than you, and like <laughs> it's better so, for so, you. So those uh, for those couple whose uh, mom in laws uh, live with them, please comment down below how you deal with them, <laughs> right. how you deal with the competitive mother in law. Yeah. But I guess if my mother-in-law would always cook for me because... Um, oh, you will like it. I <laughs> <laughs> it's less oh, of I know it's your saying, work. Oh, Nana, you're the best. <laughs> All right, Mama too. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll go to the next one. Um, Number I, I, three. Yeah. Yeah, so if you, if you encounter those mother-in-laws that, you know, they, they knew this, you know, I don't have, um, I don't have ref. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, um, and there are also other uh, mother-in-laws or in-laws that would oblige their son or daughter to give them a specific amount of money as their allowance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... Uh, how to well, deal with it them. happens. Um, how to deal with it? I guess it happens um, a lot of. In uh, it happens to a lot of Filipino families because we are a Filipino family, so we, yeah, yeah, we, we provide for our in-laws. In-laws. Um, well, um, I think it's more on how much I am capable to give. Um, I I am very uh, honest, you know, to. To my in-laws, if, if I can't, then I can't. Um, I know we're not, uh, uh, we're not, uh, we're not rich, but you know we, we have family to to feed, and uh, you know we have to present to them that these are the only things that we cannot we can afford, and I think they will understand. Um, not to the point that. Uh, that's just my opinion. Um, so how to deal with them? How to deal with it? Just be honest. For me, um, so we are in the in a Filipino culture, and I believe that. Uh, so I'm not sure for everybody or for other other couples out there, but uh, me and hubby, or me and daddy dudes, uh, we give our parents um, not not big. But a uh, small allowance every month because our parents, they're not well off. So they still need our assistance. But um, the allowance that we give is um, not, yeah, as what I've said, it's not that big. But it's enough to maybe to, to give it can them, help them. To help at them. Least. And at, at the same time, it will not burden us. It will oh. not burden our, our budget. It will not um crumple our uh, life here because yeah, we have bills we have lots of bills yeah. too and so, you know we're paying you know a lot oh, and, you know that our uh, fws and uh, the yeah. people living abroad um can understand yeah. that and so. fun fact they did not oblige us <laughs> they did not ask uh to be to be provided for our monthly allowance but yeah, it's, it's us just, yeah. who said because um we t we feel that it is just our way it is one of our ways to give back to them for all those hard works and for all those sacrifices that they've made, uh, for, us. made for us when we were growing up and but after, what what if you have that kind of mother-in-law how you deal with it so i would uh, i would explain I, I i would still give her uh, maybe monthly allowance, but 
um, just like what we're doing. To the best of our. Or to the best of our abilities, or to the best uh, to hanggang sa kaan makakaya ng budget. But I. So but if, of course, if you see that your mother-in-laws are more, <laughs> I, I mean, has no, more money, money than, than you. <laughs> mother-in-law has more money than you, then I believe uh, she would understand if you will not give her a monthly allowance. So, because sometimes they're just asking, you know, just, but, just, just, yeah. you know, just to, anong panga? Just for lambing. For lambing. So, yeah, you can give them from time. It really depends on you, but uh, for us, if, if it's too much, we don't give, like, we don't give expensive gifts if we can't afford it. Daddy. These are the mother-in-laws, you know. That's yeah. too meddling. Yeah, you know, this. Hey, your anak mo is mishad ng payat. Bigyan mo ng vitamins. Or you know, um, parang may init siya. So yeah, or dapat niyo na sa hospital. Or Do like, you have no, something like that? No, or sa so, ah, uh, it's like, bakit wala kayo kuryente? Naputulan ba kayo? Oh. Why is the ref not full? Yeah, no mga yari. Well. Uh, what well, well, maganda naman yun. Why is the service not full? Can I <laughs> feel it? Oh, it's but it's uh, although it's okay, but it's also like um, preventing the growth of the Almost couple. Um, Especially the new couple. So yes, yeah, they don't have rice. Okay, this is five thousand. <laughs> you know, feel the rest. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, those things. Oh. Well, to me it's okay too, but um, no, not, so, not so much uh, because uh, you know as a couple, as a new couple, for example, they need to grow. Um, they need to be independent too. You know how can they learn life <laughs> if the the the, the in laws are always there for them? So you know they cannot really afford it. Then there's a time that. Maybe it's okay. I'm having. I, I'm imagining right now. What if Mateo will have that kind of life in the future? Oh my! Maybe I will fall into that category. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't do it. <laughs> huh? How to deal with um very worrying mother-in-law? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you have a if you have a suggestion <laughs> or you have a bit of advice, please um. Yeah. Comment down I think mother in laws are always worrying to their especially yeah, to their applause. To their applause. Yeah. So. so I guess if you have the type of mother in law, uh, Yeah. Just let them know that they should not worry. You're old yeah. enough. You know. Yeah, we're yeah. <laughs> we're old enough. And you've um especially if you know what you're doing, just let uh, just explain to the M. Yeah, and, you know, just tell them that if you cannot not to panic. If, yeah, if you cannot really um Kaya. Okay. <laughs> I say, Mom, I uh, okay, ma. Uh, we're we're. I don't know. But if it's the mother-in-law, no. Tell your husband to explain it to the mother. Yeah. Oh. To his mom. Like like um. Okay, ma. Okay, na kaya namin to. But uh, kay, jan lang kayo. Ha, we, we uh, we'll keep you in. I know. We'll keep you updated mm -hmm. if something is happening or say if may sakit yung apo. And then we'll keep you updated and we'll call you if we need you, something yeah. like that. Thank you for worrying, but uh, we're, okay. we're good, we're good. Yeah, um, and uh, maybe the last. Uh, Number I... five! Yeah. Um... So everybody really wanted to have uh, this kind of, kind of mother in law. So that's the balanced one, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then. The, the and I we, we, love, we could tell you respect yeah. and understanding and everything support for the couple. Mm -hmm. oh. And daddy, which do you think Mamang falls which category does your mother in law falls into? Of course she's I I am blessed to have Mamang as my mother in law. <laughs> um she's help she she's helping us a lot. Uh, you know, she gave her time to Mar Thomas when he was little. <laughs> yeah, first months. <laughs> yeah, when when he was a, a baby. Newborn. Yeah, and you know, um, she's always there for us, and we can I can really feel the love of Mama. Uh, what about you? To your mother-in-law. Oh. 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 
Um, I'm also blessed to have Nanay as my mom-in-law. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, um I I feel so loved and um well especially if I'm I'm in the barrio in their barrio I'm the queen of the house and I'm so glad <laughs> I know that I my mom in law is um a blessed to have a blessed to have one. Um she sacrificed a lot for us especially when we were working and um, after um, we brought Mateo from my barrio. That's in the Philippines. Yeah, it's the, in the Philippines from our barrio because um, Mar Mar Thomas or Mateo is get, was getting bigger and uh, my mom couldn't um, look after him anymore. So we brought Mateo to the city and my and Nanay so she also went well mamang is my mother-in-law and nanay is my mom-in-law yeah. <laughs> and so um nanay decided to uh, stay with us and um so um oh, yeah. oh. Oh, I, guess, I guess you remember our situation in the philippines it's like a very small house and i don't want to uh to describe um some of the rooms but um uh, uh, <laughs> basta, uh, basta she sacrificed a lot even my my sisters in law my brothers in law so yeah because when and, nana transferred to us in the city um my uh, sisters also yeah, they moved were with, with us. her because they're they're still uh, you know in high school and in college that time and uh, my brothers too they're yeah. working that time but of course they don't have nanay at at our barrio so they will still uh, stay with us during weekends or if yeah. they have time to go to you know to go um on saturdays and sundays so yeah it's a and, small uh, um, we're just you know but we have uh, so f uh, for us um from all our celebrations were extended because he doesn't only have to deal with my mom-in-law but he has another extended Two mothers-in-law, my aunts. Mm. <laughs> so it was, it was a really an ours is an ex super extended family. But uh, we are happy that my family and his family they get along with, and um, I'm uh, I miss them. <laughs> yeah, I just feel I miss them so yeah, so what, what we're doing is, for example, Christmas, um, I always ask uh, uh, my wife uh, that um, we will go to our place, uh, especially during the time that Nana was not with us, because that's my father's birthday, so we have to celebrate Christmas with them, and then the New Year, we're, 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 yeah. we go to so, Mama's um, place in Papa. Yeah. Or if we do it in the if we did it in the city, then all of, all them, of them will there. go to our place. <laughs> they celebrated um, us yeah, Christmas. Or New yeah, Year. so yeah. we haven't celebrated um, Christmas and New Year na. <laughs> it's just it was just us. Yeah. So so when we moved here and then there was pandemic, it was like our first time. Yeah. It was so sad. So sad. <laughs> so. So, medyo lumayo na kami. Going back to the topic, uh, we are so blessed to have our mother-in-laws. and Because uh, we felt the love. Yeah. Um, we know this. Uh, they love us so much. They're always with us. They've sacrificed and, a lot know, for if, us. If kaya nila, nandun sila lagi sa amin. Hindi kami pinapabayaan, lalo na kung time na may sakit yung apo. Yeah. Or, you know, or... Uh, they need, uh, we need them uh, para magbantay kami tayo, they're always there and funny um, halimbawa pupunta kami sa bahay ng nila yeah, when so we were still in the Philippines we were still in the Philippines si Mateo hindi yun natutulog sa amin nandun kay mamang <laughs> and, then, and then we go to our house for example or even during the time that nanay was with us Hindi yun natutulog si Mateo sa amin. Nandun kay nanay. Yeah. That's, that's how uh, Mateo um, is, was close. Um, that's how close. close he is. Very close to um, 
his grandmas. Yeah. yeah. And we're happy, we're so blessed to have and them. And you uh, would like to greet them. And would like to greet them. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. We miss you. And of course to all the mothers, mothers. and the mothers in law. Yeah. You know, the aunts, titas, you know, all the mothers out there. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Um God bless you all. And lastly, I also would like to uh, say, always pray for them. Yeah. They're, they're not, I'm going to pray again because they're not getting younger. Yeah, and, and especially now that it's pandemic, you know, if they're always asking... Always reach out. If they're asking for your time, you know, there's a lot of ways to communicate them. Call them, use Zoom, or whatever platform, right? So, and, um... Always include them in our prayers. They're our parents, even if they did not born us, they born our spouses. Yeah, that's true. So yeah. we should, it's it's um uh, it's it's um yak nga it's a very special gift to be thankful for because if it were not of them, we wouldn't have our spi spouses with spices. We wouldn't spices. have sp our spouses with us. And Agreed. yeah, love them. Yeah, love them. Pray for them and always respect them. Yeah. I love you, Nanay. I, I love, love you, Mama. Mama. I love you, Nanay. I love you all. Bye. God bless.